Well, COVID-19 definitely threw a wrench in 2020 weddings as well as some in 2021, but some new trends are bringing to the forefront as couples and guests are eager to celebrate together. So Wedding Wire, a leader in the global wedding industry, has found this year's trends that will reflect some major changes in the industry as a whole. So joining us this morning uh, with some great trends, Je Jeffra Trumpauer, Senior Creative Director at Wedding Wire. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Lauren. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, as someone who's planning their wedding right now, I, it, it's one of those things you're kind of hoping and guessing things will fall back to normal. My wedding's in 2022, but at the same time, everybody is adapting as we go. What are some of the trends you're seeing right now? So we definitely saw a lot of couples postpone their weddings from 2021, or sorry, 2020 to 2021, um, or they're still planning like you are to 22. But we're going to definitely see a shift in weddings regardless, right? This has been a moment for people to reflect and think about what is most important for my wedding. Um, they're going to be going big details, smaller guest list, um, mostly because that's the safest bet right now. But we don't think that that's a trend that's going to fall to the wayfair. It's going to stick around. Um, they're going to be including things that are really important for them, like nostalgic details. So we're definitely going to feel the personalization for weddings moving forward. Yeah, especially if you can't have a loved one there with you, you figure out those ways to incorporate those loved ones. And, and something to note, you know, the smaller the guest list, the more money you have to put towards those small details. Firsthand, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Yes, this is so true. So there's going to be more into the experience. So just like you said, if you're going to have less guests, you can actually put more into what those guests are experiencing. So we're also going to see restaurant style, you know, vibes kind of come into weddings where there's more serving, there's more ordering your drinks from your table, um, more entertainment at the wedding. So beyond just the dance floor, which truthfully is not the safest thing right now, moving forward towards, you know, a comedian or somebody that can provide entertainment through throughout the night until it's safe to really bring back that dance floor. But we are definitely going to still see DJs and bands involved. Yeah, I actually just booked my DJ, uh, my band today. So trust me, I, I'm fully with you. But I, my question is, usually when you think of a sit down dinner, you think of it, 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 it tends the formality tends to increase. Do you think that standard is still there or has 20, uh, the pandemic just broken all those rules? No, I still think the formalities are there, but what we're actually seeing is couples are making their own formalities and their own traditions. So that standard, you know, with a lack of better phrase, cookie cutter wedding that, you know, we might all be used to, that's going to change. And people are really going to dive into something that makes sense for them. And it may not be exactly how we've always seen weddings, but it's going to be more about the couple, which I'm excited about. Yeah, absolutely. And something really cool is a lot of venues, and sometimes these are venues that are very expensive, they're offering weekday weddings or even I've seen brunch weddings, just something that offers a price difference as well yeah. as accommodations for smaller. So it's also just about availability too. So I want to be clear that a lot of these venues are saying, hey, come and have your Monday, your Thursday, your Sunday brunch wedding. Um, because a lot of venues are going to be booked up already this year. But from a budget standpoint, definitely look, reach out to these venues because they will be, not all of them, but some of them will be offering discounts for off weekend weddings. Definitely think about it. It's really a great way to save money, but also if you're not having a lot of people and people aren't traveling too far, then it might make sense. Yeah, and also I will tell you that 2022 is already booking up. So a lot of it brides, is. you know, that standard one year out is not, that's not really the case anymore. You know, you really have to start very early if you are get, planning on getting married. You do. And, and that's one of the biggest things we saw when people were postponing into this coming year is a lot of people had already been planning that it were engaged in 2019. They were already snagged up the 21 spot. So mm -hmm. that's the other thing to consider is that engagements are lasting longer and people are really being more, you know, thoughtful about their planning. Oh, yeah, trust me, I could go on for days uh, about this experience for sure. It is a very interesting one. And if you know any brides out there, especially COVID brides, give them an air hug. They need it. They need We're it. We're hugs to our COVID couples. <laughs> All right.